hi guys how are you doing welcome back to my channel in case you are new here thank you so much for clicking on this video and i hope that by the end of this video you will have joined the family so today i'm in the kitchen and i'm going to show you how to prepare matoke in peanut sauce so the ingredients for today are we have our onion here and then we have ginger and garlic paste i have some coriander here of course matoke i have some tomatoes here the tomatoes you have to blend them and then for the spices i have some chicken cube here salt and then we have turmeric here paprika some black pepper and beef spice and of course the style of the dish the peanut sauce and this peanut sauce i already did a recipe on this if you have not watched that i would link it in this video yeah so i'm going to show you how i prepare this first of all we need to peel this and i'm going to show you a very simple way of peeling the banana so you only have to cut at this end and this and these bananas are almost ripe and they are the best for this recipe so guys we have to cut at the ends and then make a strip on this not too deep yeah, just like that i'm going to do this for all of the bananas the rest of the bananas i mean like that then I wash them, then boil them. I'll show you how. Our bananas are already washed and ready to be cooked. I'm going to boil this for around 10 minutes on medium heat. And then I come back, peel them, and then we do now the frying. So this I'm using bananas that are almost ripe. These are the best for this recipe. Guys, let's check on our matoke. Okay. Well, guys, the matoke are ready. I'm going to pour in cold water to stop the cooking process. But as you can see, they are ready. It only takes 10 minutes. But they are now ready. This, as you can see, peeling the bananas now, it's quite easy. You just have to remove the peelings and then you are good to go. So this is another way you can try out if you do not know how to peel them before you know cooking. This is another alternative that you can try. It's quite easy and saves you a lot of time. So guys, now let's get to frying. And frying is my favorite part. You just have to heat up some a little bit of oil, add in your onions. And then add in your garlic paste, garlic and ginger paste. Add that in, let them cook until they are soft and translucent, but do not let them burn. And then you'll add in now your blended tomatoes. You know, then add in the spices. And then add your bananas. Let it simmer on low heat for about 5 minutes. You know, for all the flavors to, to come together. And then... Uh, you are good to go. Garnish them, then you are good to go. So guys, when adding the peanut butter, uh, add according to the amount of matoke you have made. For me, I had just made a little, so about 2 to 3 tablespoons of the peanut sauce or the peanut butter will be okay. So adjust according to the amount of the matoke that you will be making. So 
so guys be very careful when you are adding your matoke to the sauce so as not to break them you know for the purposes of presentation unless you want to like cut them in halves but just be careful not to break them Okay, so at this point cover and reduce the heat for it to simmer for about five minutes and will be good to go. that's it from me today thank you so much for spending time with me and learning how to make this delicious recipe if you haven't subscribed to my channel guys subscribe and join the family so until next time i will see you on my next video thank you so much bye